Well, welcome boys and girls. Welcome to Awana Clubs. This is a wonderful day that God has put together for us to come together to just study another portion of his word, okay? This is truth and training. This is where we're going to take the word of God and put it into a practical application so that you boys and girls are going to have a very good rest of the week. Amen? Amen. And so what we're going to do today, boys and girls, we're going to be talking about custom creations. Custom creation. Boys and girls, there is only one of you. Yes, there's only one of Y-O-U. There's only one of Y-O-U. And what we want to do is we want you to, boys and girls, discover your individuality. You are unique in the sight of God. And we want you to discover who you are and what you are meant to do to make a difference in this world that we are living in. In other words, God created you on purpose. You have a specific purpose and your purpose is not like no one else, boys and girls. And we are going to actually talk about that today. In other words, boys and girls, if you want to make a difference in this world, you're going to have to do a little bit different than what you are doing right now. That means that you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to step out of the box and do things that you might not have been used to doing. You might have not been used to doing. So boys and girls, that is what we want to do. We want to get you, make you uncomfortable. Make you uncomfortable being where you are so that you can dig deep inside of yourself. Find out your true greatness and your true purpose and uh, leave that comfort zone so that you can be all that God has called and purpose for you to be. Amen. Amen. In other words, the world deserves to see your true being, boys and girls. They're not seeing it right now. And we want them to see it. We want you to let your light shine. That the world will see who you really are, who God has created you truly to be. So that you can draw others to our Savior, Jesus Christ. In order for that to happen, though, boys and girls, you're going to have to leave the surface. How you look right now, how you act right now, that's just the surface. You're going to have to go deeper. You're going to have to go deeper. And that means that you're going to have to do some extraordinary things. I didn't say extraordinary doesn't necessarily have to be big things. They're just things that are out of the ordinary, out of your um, your regular routine, so that you can be all that God has called and purpose for you to be. It's in you, boys and girls. It's in each one of you. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create you a little, um, give, give you a little example, okay? Let's say, for example, someone gave me an opportunity, and the opportunity was for me to actually um, to, 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 to dive my face into this puddle of whipped cream that has blow pops on the bottom. And without my hands, I am to go and find at least two blow pops, put them in my mouth and raise my head. If I do so, I will get $500 to, um, to give to the charity of my choice. You know, I love, to, I love children, I love charity, and I love giving. And so this is just a unique opportunity, but I'm not used to putting my face in food, especially not in no whipped cream. So in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to leave my comfort zone. Amen? Amen. Let's see if I leave my comfort zone. Let's see if we do this. We could do this. Amen? Amen. Let's try it. All right, so boys and girls, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have this here whipped cream and I have some blow pops in here, right? And I'm going to use my mouth, my mind, without my hand, use my mouth to pick up two blow pops out of this stuff, okay? And, um, and I'm doing this for a good cause, but I haven't done something like this before, so I'm going to have to go out of my comfort zone to do this, but I'm going to do it because it's in me to do it. I don't know if I'm able to do it or not, but I'm going to try because I feel that God has compelled me to do this for a good cause. Amen? Amen. So let me try. I'm going to put on these shades because I want to protect my glasses. And let me go out here and try to find two blow pops and pick them up with my mouth without using my hands. Here we go. Let me try. Here I, here I go. All right. Here goes. I did it, boys and girls. Two blow pops. I sure did that. See, 
Didn't know if I could do it, but I did it. And because I did, I was able to gain something that I would not have gained had I stayed in my comfort zone. And that's what it's all about, boys and girls. It's about doing the extraordinary, doing something outside of the ordinary for the honor and glory of God. And in each one of you is the ability to do some extraordinary things. You may not think so right now and you're sort of comfortable where you are, but in order to do and make the difference that you need to make, you're going to have to get out of the comfort zone and do something extraordinary. Not the ordinary, but the what? The extraordinary. It doesn't have to be big. It just has to be out of the ordinary. It has to be something that will go that is in you that you have now never done before that you need to bring out in order for you to make the difference so that the world will see what God truly is like. He's going to see that through you and through me. Amen. Amen. Now back to the lesson. All right, boys and girls. Woo. That was something. That was something. That was something. That, that was really something, 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 something. So in order for me to have, to have done what I did, I had to leave my comfort zone. In other words, I'm not used to putting my face in something that, sound, that seems so humiliating, so degrading to put my face in the, in the, in the midst of something and... and and, and try to find something with my mouth. Ugh. But I did it because it was in me to do it. And that's what's going to happen with each of you boys and girls. You're going to have to go deep within. It's in you to do extraordinary things. But you're going to have to leave your comfort zone. So that is what we're going to be talking about, boys and girls, that you are custom. You are a custom creation and you have individuality. And we want you to discover that you are meant to do something that can make a difference in the world in which we live. Amen. Amen. And what we're going to do, boys and girls, we're going to start just talking about how God actually put us together. You are a very special person. A very special person. And so the lesson today of what we're going to be talking about is that you were made in the image of God. You were made in the image of God. I'm not sure if you all recall the creation and all that God, you know, he started by creating the heavens and the earth. And then the earth was without void and there was just water and the Holy Spirit hovered over the water. And then God said, let that be light. And there was light. And then he said, let that be a be the sky and then let there be land and then there he said let there be visit vegetation and the seas and the land and then he said let there be a sun for the for the day and the moon for the night for the earth and then he said let there be fish for the sea bird for the sky and land animals and then he stopped and then he said in genesis chapter chapter 1 verse 26 to 27 he said, then God said, let us make mankind in our own image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the air and over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the earth. And then God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them Male and female, he created them. Amen? Amen. So, boys and girls, here's what God did. He started with just the dirt of the earth. And he formed the face of man. The arms of man. The legs of man. The torso. All the parts. The hands. The feet. Every part of man. But that is not the image of God. Because we've never seen God. So, just like he created the land animals from the dirt of the earth. And the birds from the dirt of the earth. He also created the man body from the dirt of the earth. But here's what made us like the image of God. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 2 and verse number 7 that God breathed into man's nostril and man became a living soul. In other words, from God, eternity came from God and it came into man. Okay, and the character of God came from himself into man. When man, when God breathed into man's nostril, the breath of life and man became a living soul and your soul, boys and girls, that is where your character is. That is where you are made in the image of God, not on the outside, but on the inside. So when God created 
us in his own image. What he did, he gave us characteristics that are just like him. For example, God is a smart God, a creative God. So therefore, we are smart and we are creative. God is a loving God. And therefore, we are a loving people. And God is a moral God. And therefore, we have values and we know right from wrong. I'm trying to just make it simple. And those are things that you cannot see and touch. Those are things on the inside. Our smart and our smartness and our creativity is on the inside. Our love is on the inside. Our morals are on the inside. And so when God created us in his own image, that is what he did. And why did God do that? Why did God create us and to be like him? He did it so that the world will know what God is like. Through us, the world will know what God is like because we have been created in his own image. In other words, we show God's brilliance and his smartness and his creativity when we use our minds to make things possible. Amen? Amen. We show God's love when we show love for one another. Yes, that is how we do it. And we show God's morality when we make a good choice. That is how we show God's morality. Amen? Amen. And each of us, each of us is different. Each one of us is different and we are unique, yet we share the same purpose. And what is that purpose? That purpose, boys and girls, is that we show the rest of the world who God is in our own individual ways. Amen? Amen. So here's what I want to encourage you, boys and girls. And I want to encourage you to do this and do this with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. It takes courage to step outside the box. I want you to step outside of your comfort zone. I want you to go out and let your light shine. You cannot let your light shine if you are in a box. If you're in a box, there's darkness in the box. No one can see your light in the box. Okay? So what you want to do is that you want to step out of the box. And when you step out of the box, Letting your light shine, doing the good things that God desires for you to do. That is when, boys and girls, you're going to be able to actually be that instrument that God desires for you to be. Be the one that God desires for you to be to make the difference. To make the difference in the world in which you live. Boys and girls, don't let, and don't let no one put you in the box and keep you in that box. Sometimes people will say, we're going to start challenging you. And tell you, what are you trying to do? Who do you think you are? How do you, why do you want to try to separate yourself from me? And separate yourself from all of the other, all of the stuff that you used to do. You get back in that box. You stay in that box. The world don't want to know about you. Don't want to know about Jesus. But that's a lie, boys and girls. And that is what the devil wants for every one of us. Oh, he wants us to turn our lights off. He doesn't want us to let our light so shine. He doesn't want us to be set upon a hill so that we can give light to the rest of the world. No, he doesn't want us to do that at all. He wants us to live in darkness because guess what? Darkness is the absence of light. And in the world in which we're living in right now, boys and girls, all we see is a whole lot of darkness. We see darkness left. We see darkness right. Why? Because we are staying in the box. We want to stay in our comfort zone because someone has convinced us that that's the place that we should be. No, that is not the place that you should be, boys and girls. When God created you, you are, custom, you are a customized creation. And when God poured into you the greatness that he poured into you, his expectation is that you are going to get out of that box and you are going to actually express yourself to the rest of the world that God is a wonderful God who created you with this individuality with purpose. Purpose in mind. And that purpose is to fulfill some things in which he has already planned in advance for you to fulfill. Boys and girls, the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse number 10, it says that we are God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God has already planned in advance for you to do. You cannot do those works in the box. 
You got to get out of that zone, that comfort zone, as we call it. In other words, that's the place where you're taking it easy. And you know, every, no, there's no, you're not rocking the boat. No one's dislike you. No one like you. You know, you playing it neutral and everything. No, you need to stand for something, boys and girls. You need to stand for what is right, what is pleasing, what is acceptable unto Almighty God. And to actually do that, you're going to have to do what? You're going to have to get out of the box. You're going to have to step out of the box. And boy, boys and girls, what God has done is when he created you and when you became a part of his kingdom, he gave you the Holy Spirit of God. You have in you now. You have the Holy Spirit. You have God in you. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And you can do all things. Don't let someone tell you you can't do something because, you, you know, because of something that maybe happened in the past or because what they think you are or how, what they think your capabilities are. And that, in other words, they want to keep you in that box. No, you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Get out of the box, boys and girls. Every one of you, get out of the box and be used by Almighty God. You are a custom creation, boys and girls. There is no one like you, and no one is going to be able to fulfill what God has planned and purpose for you to fulfill. Only you can do so. But you can't do it in the box. You can't do it when you're all timid and fearful and afraid to open up your mouth. Afraid to try something new. Afraid to use that mind that God has blessed you with. That smartness, that creativity. Afraid to actually speak what is right. And actually be opposed to what is wrong. Afraid to, to do all of those things. Afraid to even choose to do the right things. Afraid to do those things, boys and girls. Afraid to even love. Afraid to even establish relationships. So you want to stay in this box. When the rest of the world is just passing you by and the rest of the world is just passing it by you, passing you by, basically they're walking in the darkness. Why are they walking in darkness? Because there's no light. You are the light. You are the light that will guide them into what we call the marvelous light of our Savior, Jesus Christ. But if you're in this box, then they're going to go over a cliff and destroy themselves. Why? Because you're afraid to get out of your comfort zone. You step out of your comfort zone, boys and girls. You step out of your comfort zone because you are a custom creation, boys and girls. You are a creation of someone who has been fearfully and wonderfully made by Almighty God to fulfill his purpose. And here's another thing, boys and girls. Don't hang out in the box because everybody else is in the box. No. There's greatness in each of us. There's greatness in you. And you have to accept that, boys and girls, that there is greatness in you that is different than anyone else. Because everyone else is in the box doesn't mean that you stay in the box. You get out of the box. Yes, it's comfortable to be, comfortable to be around people with the same mind. Let's stay safe. Let's stay in here. Let's stay comfortable. We'll be friends with one another. When the rest of the world needs you. Boys and girls, the rest of the world needs each one of us. And how are we going to be able to fulfill our purpose for the rest of the world? We cannot do it in a box. You're going to have to get out of there. You're going to have to step out. So don't get caught up because the majority of the people are in the box. You stay in the box. You stand out. For we are peculiar people, boys and girls. We're not like the rest of the world. And don't let anyone say that you are like the rest of the world. No, you are not like the rest of the world. Amen? Amen. So, boys and girls, I want to encourage you. I really do want to encourage you. You are a custom creation. creation. Someone who God individually shaped and molded together for a specific purpose, purpose to make a specific difference. And someone are some situations that you are going to face. But you cannot, you cannot do it in the box. Get out of that box. Get out of your comfort zone. And do all that God has called and purpose for you to do. Don't be like a bird in a cage. For can, a bird is not made for a cage. A bird is made to fly. A bird is made to fly. That is the same with you, boys and girls. 
You are not made to be in a cage or in a box. You are made to fly. You are made to spread your wings. You are made to mount up on wings as eagles and to fly high. Fly where the sky is the limit. And you cannot do it in a cage. You cannot do it in a box. Don't let no one put you in one and don't you get comfortable in one. Amen? Amen. There's a memory verse, boys and girls. But before we go to that memory verse, let me share this to you. When you look in the mirror each morning, I want you to say this to yourself. I am made in the image of God. Not only am I made in the image of God, there is no one else in this world who can reflect God the way that I can. In other words, God made you to reflect him in a certain way. Everybody's not reflecting God the same way. You were uniquely and marvelously made to reflect God a specific way. So there's a verse in Psalms 139 verse 14. And it says this, how you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful, and I know that very well. Do you know it, boys and girls? Do you know what God has done for you and God, God has created you to be as amazing and wonderful? If you really do know that, then get out of the box and let the rest of the world see it. Amen? Amen. That is the gist of this message, boys and girls. That is the gist of this message, is that you are made to make a difference. And you cannot make a difference in your comfort zone. You're going to have to do something uncomfortable. Something that um, that you would not do um, ordinarily do. Something extraordinary. So that the rest of the world will see you. Not only see you though, boys and girls. But began to start noticing the Jesus Christ in you. Amen? Amen. For we, will be, we are all created in the image of God. And being created in the image of God, boys and girls, what that means is that... The world needs to see the God in us. And the only way for the world to see the God in us, we are going to have to be bold enough to step out of the box, step out of our comfort zone, and go out into the world, letting our light shine bright, that people will see our good deeds and glorify the Father in the kingdom of heaven. Amen? Amen. Well, boys and girls, that concludes our first wonder lesson. Oh, during this whole month, we are going to be talking about uh, this wonderful creation that God has created, you and me, for a purpose. And that is to make a difference. And we cannot make the difference in a box. We got to get out. And we have to spread our wings. So don't let anyone tell you that you belong in a box. Don't let anyone tell you that you cannot do it. You can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for creating us for how you created us. Each of us have been individually and uniquely made, dear Lord. Um, but there's one thing that we all have in common, and that is that we were created in your image, dear Lord, to let the world know what you are like. The world will never know, dear Lord, unless they see it see you through us. So give us the boldness and the courage to get out of our comfort zone and to go forth and be all that you have called and purposed for us to be, not worrying about the crowd, not worrying about the people who think we're supposed to stay in a certain way or stay a certain way in a certain box. Lord, we're going to get out and we're going to spread our wings and we're going to fly and soar like eagles, dear Lord, so that your light will be shined through us and people will see what we do and glorify you in the kingdom of heaven. We love you. We adore you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, that concludes our one lesson for today. And I pray that you have gotten something out of it. And I don't want you to be comfortable. Don't be comfortable where you are right now. Because God has a big plan for you. And there's greatness in you that needs to be coming, needs to come out so that you can begin to change this world. Amen. Amen. God bless you and may God keep you.